So what's going on Gas Gang? Today we're back with another legendary new verse old battle between two big power rear wheel drive cars that share the same name, but not much else. Today it's the legendary 2JZ powered Mark IV Supra versus the Marmite B58 equipped Mark V GR Supra. Strap in cause you're in for a ride. Let's get it. To officially go. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. So welcome back once again to the OG battles and to what is most definitely going to split opinions. We're pitching my very own new school tuned up BMW derived GR Supra that the purists just love to hate against an original all Japanese big power OG Supra. But in reality, is the Mark IV all hype or is there a new king in town? Let's see. And in partnership with Race Logic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three, and the V Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times, and more to give you guys the stats on how these rivals perform. Let's get over and meet both cars and their owners. So first up today, welcome into the battles, Dom and his legendary 1994 900 brake horsepower, 2JZ powered, 3.4 litre inline six single turbo Mark IV Toyota Supra, built and tuned by SRD Tuning. Now this car has an absolutely enormous spec list. However, main modifications include a fully built 2JZ engine running a 3.4 litre stroker kit, a built port and polished VVTi head with Kelford 269-272 VVTi cams, a custom SRD turbo kit with Gen 2 Precision 6870 turbo, Titan triple fuel pump hanger with Walbro 255 fuel pumps, 1500cc injectors and is mapped on a Cyvex S6 ECU. The Mark IV is running on Nankang AR1 semi-slick street tyres at the rear and is estimated to weigh in at 1600 kg, giving him a power to weight ratio of 562 brake horsepower per tonne. The car drives its rear wheels only via its LSD equipped V160 six speed manual transmission. And he's going to be stepping up against, that's right, me, in my 2019 760 brake horsepower B58 powered inline 6 3 litre twin scroll turbo powered Mark V Toyota GR Supra, built by a mix of SRD tuning and Devil Developments and tuned by SRD tuning. So my Supra is still running on an unopened stock engine, however modifications include a CSF uprated charge cooler, a six piece ultimate spec plus CSF cooling package, a Litco L620 hybrid turbo, full radium fuel kit with Walbro 450 fuel pump and flex fuel, radium dual catch can kit, a Motif Reflex Plus controller, full Inconel SRD exhaust system, ID 1050 injectors and is tuned on a stock ECU aided by ECU tech. The Mark V is running on Michelin PS4S street tyres and weighs in at 1495kg and makes its quoted power figure on E85 fuel, giving it a power to weight ratio of 508 brake horsepower per tonne. It drives its rear wheels only via its factory electromechanical LSD equipped ZF8 speed traditional auto torque converter gearbox. Dom, welcome to the channel mate. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, listen, uh, you've stepped up now in a Mark IV and I've got to say I'm a little bit like I rate your car. I really actually do like the Mark IVs over the Mark Vs, although I'm trying to hold it up for the Mark Vs mm -hmm. today. Uh, we're also be uh, both from SRD, so uh, yeah. they're both kind of built and tuned by SRD. So uh, it's a win-win for them, I guess, yeah, or a lose-lose, depending. Well, lose-lose, possibly. <laughs> All right, so you're up against me. Um, you've got more power, but you're six-speed manual, so you've got to drive this car. Yeah. Um, how do you reckon you're going to get on? Drag race, roll race? Possibly might have you on the roll race. Okay. But not a chance on the drag race. Really? You think that? Yeah, yeah, generally. Okay, because these are see. a little bit hard to get off the line. Yeah, and... keeping traction would be the hardest thing today. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, all right. Well, listen, bro, I'm not going to go easy on you because I'm trying to win today. <laughs> but I will, as a gentleman, say best of luck. And um, yeah, man, enjoy the day and let's race. We'll see what happens. Let's do it. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, uh, today racing again. Uh, no one to interview me, so I'm just going to chat smack. Uh, 
Thing is today, it's kind of like we're teammates because both cars are built by SRD. The other thing is, I know that everyone's not going to want me to win because everyone loves a Mark IV, it's straight up, and I'm kind of team Mark IV to an extent. Uh, however, I'm still going to try and win and hold it up for the Mark V, guys. Uh, I do love this car, um, and I think I'm going to have the edge. I, if I can keep it straight off the line drag race, I think he's going to get the big old gaparoni. Uh, however, on the roll race, it could get techy. Um, but I still think I might have it. Now, I don't want to eat my words, but I know what this car is capable of. It's really, really quick car. So um, if it behaves, I think it could be a win-win for me today. Sorry, Mark IV community. Um, but I understand that he's probably having a party. He's changing gear. There's a lot more driver involvement. So anyway, with that said, no more excuses. Let's get into this. And as usual, we're going to be battling it out for the revered Sugar Coat Cup and a full set of its ultra-effective, super-sweet-smelling ceramic waterless washes. First up today is the roll races, but before we hit the strip, let's hear what they sound like. Now, the roll races work like this. The left car is the pace setting car. We agree a start speed and the left car sets it. It's then the car on the right's job to make sure he stays by his side. As soon as we hit the start marker, it's go time. Place your bets. All right, cool. 45 mile an hour roll for the first. Oh man, it's gonna be crazy. First proper race in the Supra. I'm gonna drive it in manual too, just so uh, everyone don't get at me. Um, although I know it's not manual. All right. One more map. I'm not in my top map. That was map three. I was going to take it easy on him. Brother, I did not think it was going to be that fast. Jesus. And that crazy Mark IV makes it to the line first and hands me a four car lengths gap in by the finish line. Oh man, that hurts. Let's line back up and see if anything changes. That's it, bro. I was on map three of four. I'm turning it up. If Rodney comes a knock in, so be it. I'm not losing, bro. I'm not losing. I can hear all you Mark IV super lovers right now screaming with joy. I'm quite happy to be the truth. I know that's a sick car. To see it move like that and do what a super is meant to do, a Mark IV super is meant to do, is sick, you know? Taking the L. Jeez, I gotta get one back on the, uh, the old drag races. Man. And although I managed to close the gap slightly on that one, once again, the old school dominates, taking a win by around three car lengths. Madness. I didn't think it was gonna be that quick. I don't know why I underestimated it so much. On the roll. Do you know Bro, the roll? on the roll, I was like, what? <laughs> I turn it up. I can turn it up straight away, and you still smoke me. 
Even you were spinning like half way up. I know. That's the, it's the balance of not trying to die and trying to just stay in it. So after many, many requests and due to popular demand, we have a 100 to 200 kph top 15 leaderboard. We've went back and populated it from previous races to let you know how the car's times stack up. So looking at the fastest 100 to 200 times taken from today's runs using a V-Box PBT, unsurprisingly the Mark IV goes fastest with a rapid 100 to 200 time of just 4.84 seconds. The Mark V just under a second slower runs a best time of 5.67 seconds. That's data to back up the results. However, both cars not quite quick enough to make it onto the top 15. And round one goes to the old school Mark IV lovers. But next up is the drag races and I'm gonna try and pull one back for the B58 boys. Let's go. All right guys, this is where I'm trying to get one back, man. But I think he's gonna smoke me. I don't know, he's got too much to up top. I'm ready, I'm ready. Ready, bro. been doing an ultra spin fest right there I'm trying to look at what time I've done yeah way off pace um, but yeah anyway we took the win we took the W and that time I flipped the script for the Mark 5 community and hand Dom a free car lengths Gaparoni lovely let's line back up and see if he can get that start a little more dialed in so what I'm not gonna try and do this time is brake boost boost it so much we're in a top map so I'm just gonna roll it off the line and hopefully not roll the car <laughs> time in an ultra close run down the strip I managed to just hold him off to the finish by around a car length that was way too close that's kind of how I thought it would pan out today but man given any more distance that um that super is coming for me it's definitely the newer technology the gear changes in this that is winning the race for me every single time well on the drag races at least um, you can hear him coming off uh, boost for ages while he does a gear change. But once that thing gets singing, woo! One more go. You wanna go again? You wanna go again? Okay, so the rules are best two out of three. So officially, the roll races go to me. However, he wants another run. So we're gonna do a bonus race. Let's see if he can pull one back for the Mark IVs. The softer launch there for me felt better, but man, he was on it. The anti-lag was ringing off and I'm like, Jesus. I'm ready. I saw his car hopping all over the place. It didn't look too happy. He was coming back for me, 
The Mark V Supra gods must have cast a spell on his car, boy. The car didn't like it, cut the whole run. And after a dramatic bonus round, the Mark IV encounters an unknown issue and I hand him a big old train lengths gap in. Also, leaving me with a clean 3-0 win on the drag races today. And that was all she wrote. Bro, I don't know what I he was doing. Bro, was I saw you. Bro, my car went sideways. I come off the throttle, yeah. I saw you catch up and then I saw you hop in well, next to me. As soon as I got into third, he just went... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh man, that was epic. Honestly, on that last run, that was a bonus round because I had kind of won anyway, but I thought we'd go again. The arse end stepped out on mine, so I come out of it. I saw him gaining, then his car started hopping around. And I'm like, yes, yes. And I just pulled away, his car gave up, so. So let's just take a closer look at the fastest quarter mile when zero to 60 times achieved during the runs using a V-Box PBT. And unsurprisingly, this time the Mark V comes out on top covering the quarter mile in just 11.27 seconds at a speed of 131 miles per hour, but holds on to seventh position from a previous run. The Mark IV runs a best time of 11.65 seconds at a slightly higher trap speed of 133 miles per hour and drops into 13th position on the board. Then taking a look over at the fastest zero to 60 times achieved, my Mark V goes fastest once again, hitting 60 in just 3.73 seconds. However, holds on to six position from a previous run. The Mark IV does a respectable 0 to 60 time of 4.16 seconds, however just off pace to chart amongst the top 15. And round 2 goes to me, the Mark V lovers and the B58 boys. So today ends in a draw and pretty much the way I thought it would with the higher powered Mark IV dominating the rolls and the modern Mark V's gearbox helping it to cover the quarter mile the fastest. However, it's clear to see that if given a longer distance that Mark IV would definitely pull it back. Regardless, here today it's a win-win for SRD tuning I guess. <laughs> a massive shout out to Dom, SRD tuning and Devil Development for creating these beasts. So guys, let me know if today panned out the way you thought it would, and of course, what one of the two you'd prefer outside sat on your driveway. So with that said, and the race is over, no one walks away with the sugar coat. However, I just want to give a massive shout out to Sugarcoat for continuing to support the battles. For some of the best, unbelievably sweet smelling, hydrophobic ceramic waterless washes on the market, check them out and treat your car. You can also save 20% off all orders using my unique code OG20. Links can be found down below in the description. Don't say I don't look after you. And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notifications bell. And we'll be back same time, same place with another crazy OG battle. Peace out.